Hi, I'm Tyler Oakley. And I'm Becca Brooks. And welcome to Top That, your weekly pop culture cheat sheet to what everyone is and will be talking about on the web. Each week, Tyler and I attempt to top each other with our own top five of what's hot on the web, everything you need to know. And we're always looking to see if you can top us by submitting your own must-know items in the comments below. Now, you may have noticed that I am wearing an Elsa braid. You are sporting it flawlessly. Uh-huh. So we have a very special countdown. I'm so excited. This is fully... <laughs> Frozen. Yes. It's all frozen because basically you guys keep submitting and frozen I, items. I keep wanting to talk about a million frozen things every single episode. So we were like, you know what? It's time. To let it go. Oh my God. It's begun. It has begun. Are you ready for a full frozen countdown? Do you want to build a snowman? Do you want to have a countdown? Let me know Frozen gets freaky. Yeah, it does. This was inspired by Jimmy Kimmel's unnecessary censorship. Uh -huh. Basically, someone took all of the amazing tunes from Frozen and bleeped words out in a strategic way. Do you want a snowman? I would like to mm, a snowman. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to stuff some in my face. But then we been all evening, which is totally bizarre. This is the more, more adult version. Can I say something crazy? <laughs> Will you <laughs> me? You know, I really think unnecessary censorship can make like every conversation better. Truly. You know, like if I'm just talking to you and I'm like, Tyler, I just, I wanna <laughs> you all the time. I just wanna make <laughs> with you. Mm -hmm. And then I want us to just sit down and <laughs> each other's uh, And I'll feed you the big <laughs> that you just <laughs> and the big <laughs> and you're gonna take a bite out of it. Yeah, yeah, and it'll be so and we'll love eating it. Oh so my. Well, let's see how that goes. Cuties, I'm gonna you. Okay, so for my number five, we have to talk about Elsa's Frozen Rampage. This is the best little mashup of Mr. Freeze, Arnold Schwarzenegger, mm -hmm. from Batman and Robin, mm -hmm. which is the movie that made me realize I was gay because Robin, Chris O'Donnell. What killed the dinosaurs? The Ice Age. <laughs> That plus Frozen. Let it go, turn away and slam the door. My soldier, what they're going to say. It's incredible. It's everything you would imagine this if, like. It's a seminal like, moment for you. Right, them. it's like a, the fusion to end all fusions. It's time to see what I can do to test the it's perfect. It's the best fusion ever. I mean, this because you did you know this is a little bit of trivia. At one point, Elsa was going to be a villain. Oh they really? They were gonna have like the Snow Queen thing. See, she was gonna be evil. So this I'm glad was, they like, didn't. No, that would have. This is an alternate it. universe where this could have happened. Mm -hmm. So watch this and just be thankful that it's not real. Cold never bothered me anyway. All right, my number four. Let it go in 25 languages. Because... Because, why not? Also, like, let it go in one language is epic. The snow glows white on the mountain tonight. Not a footprint to be seen. This is a worldwide phenomenon. International. Frozen crosses Order. Polish mm -hmm. and Hungarian. Mm -hmm. Like everything. My number four is actually in conjunction with yours because Kids React did a brand new video where they had all of their kids on the series do a reaction to this video. Polish is the best. All the kids were like, yes, I'm all about this. They were like recognizing the languages and they were loving it. Oh, I know Thai. I think I know Thai. 
Canadian French, is that different from regular French? This is the future international. Maybe they could teach me how to sing it in their language. The whole world knowing the same song, it just shows everyone's culture. Even if their language is different, they can always come together from a movie. Kids are here for the entertainment and they don't see necessarily like all the drama that adults see. They love it, they're all about it, and I mean all kids in the future are gonna be like bilingual, trilingual, everyone's gonna be all Probably. about this. And the thing is basically Frozen communicates in any language. Right. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. My number three, like we said, Frozen is crossing all sorts of borders, mm -hmm. and that includes gender. Yes. So we have a let it go dude style. Yep, what is yours? Um, it's this bearded guy who just goes like to town. Man. He is a man. I mean, yeah. he looks like a mountain man. He looks like that guy. He looks like the lumberjack who yeah. owns a little gift shop. The sauna. Big summer blowout. That's what this dude looks like, and he really nails Let It Go. The kingdom of isolation, and it looks like I'm the king. He starts so low. Couldn't keep it in, heaven knows I tried. But then he, he goes so up. high. Let it go, let it go, that perfect boy is gone. He really hits those notes, he gets into it. You can feel, and the best part I is when it. he's like, Be the good boy you always have to be. Like, be the good boy. Be the good boy. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me kind of uncomfortable, but I'm like, okay, you do you. Let the storm rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. And that is not the only guy cover that we have to talk about. My good buddy Sam, who is a YouTuber, he did his own rendition, and it is actually like a mashup yes. of this Let It Go and what? Let Her Go. And here I stand, and here I'll stay. You only know you love her when you let her go. So Sam is like kind of incredible. He has the voice of a god. I love every single thing he's done forever. Like mm -hmm. before I even met him, I was fangirling over him. And then when Obviously. I met him, I was like, oh my God, you're incredible. So for him to do Let It Go, I'm just like, yes. And now you know. exactly what needs to be happening. You are just give your gift to the world in frozen form. Here I stand, and here I'll stay. You only know you love her when you let her go. Oh. For my number two, I have Feminist Frozen. Mm -hmm. This is really cool. So basically the Disney princesses are all getting together and Elsa's like, you ladies need to switch it up. Why does every princess need to have a prince? It's the same old story, but I'm just not convinced. Why keep on assuming men will save the day? I can be the hero and do it my own way. I don't even need a man. I have ice shooting out of my hands. Right, right. I am an epic, powerful being. Inside, stuck in this princess stereotype. But now is our time. They were wrong, we are strong, let it show, let it go. I mean, this is why I love Frozen so much, is that it takes the Disney princess stereotype and like turns it on its head. Why does every princess need to have a prince? It's the same old story, but I'm just not convinced. Addressing the issue that Disney has had for decades right. and being like, no. This is how it's working now. Get and I used love to it. that like the true love story is about sisters, mm -hmm. you know? It's not about some prince. Mm -hmm. It's like that's a total side note thing to the like and it's really about female empowerment. Elsa it's slay. I don't need a Well Becca, speaking of feminism, mine's a little bit about feminism. <laughs> we got cats reenacting frozen. Because Obviously, this because is that's going what to the internet was for. Once upon a time, there were two sisters, and they were both princesses. They've got costumes, they've got sets, they've got meowing, they have sh ice and things. Elsa can't tell her sister about her magic. Do you want to build a snowman? I want to build a snowman with a kitten. And then they meet Olaf, the happiest little snowman. Just imagine how much cooler I'll be in summer. I'm not even a cat person, and I liked it. The way to fix up this fixer-upper is fix him up with you. And 
And this one was actually viewer submitted. Uh, somebody sent it in. Who sent it in? This is David Gutierrez, who said, do the kitten frozen cat thingy. Thanks, David. Yes, you said it better than we could. Me, oh. Nicole never bothered me anyway. All right, my number one was viewer submitted. This is from Pat B. And me, Mish622. And this is a veteran of our countdown. It is from Christina Bianco, who mm -hmm. does amazing musical interpretations of like famous songstresses. Right, she's and like incredible. She's incredible. She takes on Let It Go. The snow blows away on the mountain today, <laughs> out of footprint to be seen. 15 different divas whose like iconic voices are impossible to match. It's but an all-soft as well. It's a heaven She even does her own voice. Let it go, let it go. I'm one with the wind and sky. She takes Frozen, pieces it all up, adds all the divas in, and then boom. It's truly like when you know a song is good, you want to hear it by mm -hmm. every diva. And and she delivers. So thank you, Christina. The cold never bothered me anyway. Yes. Okay, so for my number one, we could not do this countdown without this viral sensation. Mm -hmm. It is Let It Go from Frozen with an African twist. It is the cover to end all covers. We have this great, amazing voice, this one girl. A kingdom of isolation. Well, he's kind of doing like some African beats, mm -hmm. like mixing that in, and then there's the choir. The choir, the one voice choir, which is all these children from like, just like such talent. They're in an ice cave. Yes, it's like and they're like in the full the frozen full outfit. They have the braid. They got the braid. And, and there's characters, and oh, yeah, everybody's there's, like, there's all Olaf, these little children. And there's Anna, and there's Hans, but all like pint size. This right. little girl. Her voice is just like, oh my gosh. I don't care to say. Let the song rage on. The cold never bothered me anyway. Frozen is like these kids, like what is ours? Like Lion King or Little Mermaid? Yeah, like those, like, songs. those like such special movies that you know when these kids grow up, they're gonna look back at Frozen and be like, that was it. And this one is actually viewer submitted. Even though I was totally going to talk about it, you guys gave me the encouragement. Mm -hmm. Jaco Mulder. Thank okay. you, Jaco. We're on it. Okay, so that was it. We just talked about every single thing Frozen that we could ever possibly discuss. We are a fish. Frozen fangirls freaking out over here. Freaking out, getting feaky. We love it. If you love uh, Frozen too, give it a thumbs up because this was so fun. Uh, I like. I could do a Frozen countdown every week. I'm I not. really. We should move to Arendelle. Oh my God. Let's you know go. I mean? Can we go. Let it go. You know what I mean? Do and want, wait. Do you want to build a snowman? I do want to build a snowman. Okay. Let's go do that. Okay. Thanks everyone. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. New episodes every single Friday. And until next time. Later. I just, I want to hug you all the time. I just want to make cookies with you. Mm -hmm. And I'll feed you the big cookie that you just made in the big oven.